Cristiano, it's Makes from the Next Creation Team. What do I have for you today? In today's video, we are going to look at what we call the FIFA World Cup tickets. Remember, we had the FIFA World Cup tickets, the what we call the last minute sale of the tickets, and that was uh, that was started uh, late in uh, September, whereby it was open everyone for both the international travelers and uh, international fans, and also for the residents that live in Qatar, where you would have the time or you'll have the chance to buy for your ticket and today's video we want to look at the latest development that has been put on what you call the fifa.com.tickets.com slash tickets and that is what you call what you call the resale platform which is open today remember over around 2.5 million tickets have been sold out to the fans but what does it mean in this scenario remember we had different phases of sale of the tickets that were being amended in one way or the other and you find that in this situation we find very many people from the start of the ticket bought very many tickets that are not going to they are not going to use and they're willing to sell them off and remember i told you something that we need to understand for this resale of ticket you cannot sell a ticket to an individual before you use or before you use the platform which is given by FIFA because that ticket has to be accounted for and that ticket has to be verified before you can sell it to another person. So that's why there is what you call a platform and that platform is called what you call the resale platform to open for the FIFA World Cup ticket. And what does it mean? The people who might have bought or people who bought tickets that are more than what they can hold and they were willing to sell off some of those tickets. So what does it mean for the person who has not bought a ticket yet? It is your time right now. You can have a grasp or you can have a grab of part of those tickets. Especially if you want to have your favorite team, if you want to watch that favorite match that you wanted at that time, you can have part of that ticket. You can buy it. You can go and check on the fifa.com slash tickets. When you go there, when you click that specifically, uh, that one's... Uh, that column for resale of the ticket it will be there and those tickets it will be for what you call the uh, um, it will be for different matches it may be for group stages it may be for uh, semi-finals depending on what you'll find there. and remember some of these tickets are a little bit a little bit cheaper compared to the tickets that we are seeing uh, on the last minute sale because most of the tickets on the last minute sales uh, especially for the internationals and the nationals especially when you look at the nationals uh, and the residents living in Qatar you find that I think uh, you can find there a ticket of 600 which is 800 750 but when you go to the resale platform you can get a ticket of 250 Qatar which is which is definitely in one more the other it's a little bit very cheaper so it will be a very good time a very good chance for everyone that is living in Qatar and if you wish you want to enjoy that time to have the fun or to enjoy the football or the World Cup uh, football matches and remember after you purchasing that ticket it will be it will be confirmed and you'll have to pay instantly for that time and what does it mean after buying that ticket then you'll have to apply what you call for higher card and remember the higher card is not only the ticket you can have the ticket but you have what you, you need to have what you call the pass to the stadium and that is what you call the higher card it's going to contain all your information and it's going to be the gate pass to the to the stadium and still also remember the higher card is going to give you free uh, public transportation for you to go and wherever you have to go and it's also the higher card can give you you an opportunity to her to invite uh, a non card holder for uh, or your mother or your son or anywhere to come in Qatar and be part of the uh, the fans to watch the FIFA World Cup, which is uh, uh, football uh, fans watching the games and which is called uh, one plus three uh, 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 one plus three that is all you can invite someone out uh, this is the chance for people who have not buy the tickets definitely to go to that platform and get a great uh, great opportunity to buy the tickets in one world. Remember, we are talking about the FIFA World Cup. We are talking about the opportunities. I think most of people have been cut and most of people that, that got the opportunity out of there, the jobs and the opportunity, you definitely know what I'm talking about. The people got the work in and those that do not get the chance, they will not get the chance to have the jobs in Qatar for the FIFA World Cup. Please don't lose hope because we still have what we call Expo 2023, which I don't have, which I cannot stop talking about 
out, uh, can advertise it before it comes. We have it, uh, which is going to be a very global event. Still 2024 in Qatar, there's another event that is called the Asian Cups uh, uh, football. There's also another opportunity, meaning that there are so many opportunities that are still within the pipelines and you can still have that opportunity to come in Qatar and do whatever and get something for yourself. And remember, Qatar is not yet very strict compared to other Gulf countries. So the opportunity, once the opportunity clocks your way, then probably use that opportunity to get it home. Thank you so much, Havaris. Uh, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Thank you so much for supporting me. Remember, it's next from the next question. See you again in the next video.